Hey folks, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider. Your good old friend HDR out here on a doom and gloom day. If you can see that sky, it's awful. Um, and they're saying it's not supposed to rain. I don't know if it's already rain or not. It's not supposed to rain until 4 o'clock. Um, I can't tell if it's sprinkling yet or if that's just dirt on my windshield. But I figure I'm going to run down to at least get some fuel. And uh, we'll see where we're at here. But uh, still trying out this 10C, um, the, uh, the Senna 10C. So I don't know where the camera angles are. I did move it as far up on the on the helmet as I could get it. Uh, but yeah, I think it is uh, definitely raining. Definitely looks like rain. It's sprinkling. So, so I am just, uh, yeah, it's supposed to rain, like I said, today at 4 o'clock. They never get it right, do they? We know that. I said the best job you can have in America is to be a meteorologist. Uh, meteorologist, I think the definition, if you look it up, it says person that can have a lifelong career be wrong 90% of the time and still get paid a ton of money. I think that's the definition. But, uh, oh, you know, we know we know the risks. We knew it was going to possibly rain today. So, uh, I mean, it's not pouring by any means. I just figured I'd take a short, uh, short little rip out to the lake, but I'm not going to do that now because, like I said, it's obviously raining, so we're not going to uh, go out. I think that would just be stupid on my part. Uh, so, I did want to go down here and get at least top the tank off for tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's trip with uh, with uh, <laughs> young HDR, my daughter, our youngest, who is now, what, she's going to be 23, so um, yeah, we're going to take that trip tomorrow to uh, Pima Tuming, actually. And uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll be taking you guys along. Uh, we're definitely taking the 10C up. Uh, once again, thanks to Jim for uh, letting me demo this unit. The only bad side I have to say about that, I like everything about this camera. I like everything about the Senna. Uh, the music works great. FM radio, I've tested it, works great. Uh, the sound, I think the speakers on the 20S in your headset uh, are better than the um, uh, the speakers in the 10C, but I think the 10C preceded the 20S. So maybe the 10C Pro, when they bring that out, possibly that'll have the better speakers in it. And, yep, it's raining. When you can see, oh, I told uh, Mrs. Acer, always look for windshield wipers. When you see people using windshield wipers, it's raining. All right, let's go up here and top this tank off. And then we're going to head back to the homestead. And I'll talk to you a little bit more on the way back. Get up here, get up here, get up here, get up here. All up the hill. Oh, no, somebody's yelling at somebody. Don't you ever do... Huh? All right. All right, let me get some fuel here. All right. So we're fueled up. We're back off again. I did get the windshield cleaned off. I don't think I washed my bike enough. Somebody once told me if you're washing it all the time, you must not be riding it. Um, so... Definitely raining though. Anyway, the hell is that wire coming down there on my neck? So anyway, the uh, the downside, like I said before, of the 10C uh, that I don't really like. I like everything about it except the um, uh, the battery life. 
and you can't change the batteries out so those are the bad things but uh, other than that it's a good unit I'd recommend it to anybody out there uh, that does uh, moto vlogging I think you'd have a, uh, a wonderful unit yeah, I don't think I'm going to buy the 10C. Um, I know Mike, Mike Kelly 7, thank you so much, my friend, for giving me the shout out there and uh, talking about the new gear, but um, I'm not going to buy the 10C. I am going to wait and see uh, what the reviews are like, and I did put in for a review unit through Senna for a 10C Pro, so hopefully that comes through and they uh, will uh, be gracious enough to send me one to, to demo and uh, try out. Uh, before I spend, you know, three, four hundred dollars for one. So, I also looked at what was new in the drift market, the drift HD market, driftinnovations.com, and they have a, uh, a 4K camera they came out with. It's sleeker than my uh, drift HD Ghost, uh, it's a little slimmer, a little shorter uh, on the short side, and um. But the price point I looked at, now they, they're in Britain, I think it's Britain, so it's based on the pound, it's uh, 299 pounds, which I think I, I put it into the Google, you know, calculator, and I think it worked out to 369 US, um, now my, that could be off, I don't know what the exchange rate really is, but um, I'm not going to pay $370 for uh, just a camera. You know, it's got to do more than that. Uh, that's where Senna has it in. You know, really a, a, a great scenario there. So I don't know, but um, and I know most of you like my Drift HD Ghost. It's a great camera. I've used it for ever since I started my moto vlogging. So I got like three years on that camera. Uh, three almost four years now going into the fourth year I think on that camera it's a wonderful camera so and it works I mean uh, so there you have it all right folks I'm gonna go home sorry we couldn't go out for a little jaunt today but we are going to be going for a nice ride tomorrow with uh, with young HDR my daughter and uh, at least I hope uh, I think she started talking to a new boy sometimes a boyfriend will trump a dad any day and uh, maybe she won't want to go but I hope she does and uh, we'll get that right in tomorrow. All right. Take it easy, everybody. I will talk to you next time. Remember, ride your own ride. Be safe out there. Harley Day Rod's going to be down and out in the rainy, uh, like everywhere else, huh? southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye-bye for now.